Do you like horseback riding? I've ridden on the grasslands, by the beach, and along country paths. I have a special affection for horses. Later, when studying the Bible, I paid special attention to the stories about horses. Today, I will share my thoughts about horses. Now, as I learn to draw, I'll chat with you about Jesus and horses. In the vast chapters of the Bible, horses often appear at crucial moments as symbols representing strength, speed, and majesty. Horses first appear in the Bible, carrying strong symbolic significance. In Exodus, Pharaoh's chariots and horses symbolize Egypt's military power and the oppression of the Israelites. These horses not only represent the strength of horses, but also symbolize an authority that opposes God's will. However, when God personally intervened, the Israelites were rescued and Egypt's chariots and horses were drowned in the Red Sea. Here, the horse symbolizes the secular forces opposing God, while God's salvation is represented by the divine power that surpasses all secular authority. In the New Testament, Jesus comes into time with God's plan of redemption and boundless love. When we see Jesus and horses appear, we also see God's plan and salvation. This is recorded in the New Testament, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, he did not ride a horse but a donkey. This fulfilled the prophecy in the book of Zechariah 9.9, which says, See, your king comes to you, righteous and having salvation, gentle and riding on a donkey. Jesus rode a donkey, not a horse. Jesus proclaimed his kingship in a manner of humility and peace. This image overturns our traditional notions of power. True authority does not lie in force, but in humility, grace, and love. Jesus in the Bible does not only appear in a humble image. We see in Revelation that Jesus comes riding a horse. It is the image of a warrior riding a white horse, symbolizing ultimate victory and judgment. Revelation 19.11 says, I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice he judges and wages war. At this moment, the white horse symbolizes purity and victory. The arrival of Jesus riding a white horse signifies that he will bring ultimate justice and judgment. This transition from riding a donkey to riding a horse indicates that Jesus is both the King of Peace and the Righteous Judge. Traditionally, horses as a symbol of power represent a visible external force. This force was ubiquitous in ancient warfare, symbolizing conquest and dominion. However, in Jesus' humility, and his entry into Jerusalem on a donkey, we see an inner authority. This authority is not achieved through force and coercion, but through sacrificial love and serving others. In today's society, we may often be attracted by external power, 
pursuing status, wealth, and the desire for control. We forget that we are ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven, sent into the world with a mission. We should live on earth as it is in heaven. True authority does not lie in how many rights we possess, but in how we live out Jesus' love. True power lies in how much self-denial and sacrifice one can make. I call on all Christians to walk together in God's plan of salvation, live out love, become true servants of the gospel and messengers of love. Amen.